Well, hello everyone. Welcome to PBM Vending. And the great sticker shock continues. Okay, so just, just to refresh everybody's memory, I was upset because of the price of the stickers that go inside the candy machines. They went three bucks a piece to do those. And I thought that was outrageous. I mean, if you have a hundred triple heads, that's 900 bucks that you're going to be spending just on stickers. <clears throat> and what if you want to change the content in there? Now you got to buy more. So anyway, I, I was a little irritated at that. So I came up with some alternatives that I thought would be possible. Um, the first one we tried was cutting um, the, uh, the, the uh, getting the plastic bags and cutting the emblem off of that and because it was plastic it looked terrible so that option was out completely. Option number two we did in the last video and if you remember the thing of Skittles here see we tried to remove this by submerging it in water and then pulling it off and it's it's just not doable this is still sticky and it's been two days too much glue too much problem and no way to make it look good so that option was out so then my last option was to go to the grocery or go to the gas station or something and buy a little thing of candy so i bought this peanut m ms uh, and boy did i learn something interesting uh, this is 1.74 ounces, this bag right here, okay? They want a buck 49. Now, I sat down and did the math. If you go to the gas station, you pay the same amount in this bag that you would pay for out of our vending machine, almost to the penny. Because we, we dispense a half an ounce for a quarter. This is 1.74 ounces for a buck 49. 1.74, so three quarters, seven. No, it's, it's, it's more than that. Because this would be less than a buck. Uh, no. Anyway, I did the math. I was shocked. Same price as out of a vending machine. And here's the uh, here's the bill just to show you. Okay, so I got it home. I emptied out the peanut M and M's, and I took the bag. And because again, because it's plastic, it was all kind of wrinkled and stuff. And I knew when I put it into the machine, I wanted it to be smooth and readable. So yesterday, after I did it, I set it. Uh, down on something hard and then I put weight on it to make it flat and it turned out pretty good now comes the issue of attaching it to the bottle or to the to the machine and I did this partially because I wanted to get done for the video so I'm not firm yet but I'm not happy with the way it turned out I mean I'm okay with the sticker but the way I attached it, I used, what I did is I took tape and then, you know, wrapped it around my finger and stuck it so it's one piece but doubled over. And, and, and let, me, let me show you how that turned out. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Okay, right there. Now, can you see the six pieces of tape? Sorry about the machine. Sorry about the camera. I'm kind of doing this freehand. But I put six pieces of tape in there. And you can tell that it's peanut M&M's. You can see that it's nice and big in comparison to the container. But you can see the six pieces of tape. I don't like that. I wonder if I can zoom in closer to get so you can see that better see that right there
All right, but I mean, when you walk up to it, see, it doesn't look bad that way. But as you stand there and you get ready to uh, use it, it looks it looks kind of trashy. So I've got I've got one Skittles and one more peanut M and M. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy some. Uh, what is that two-way tape where it's and this is clouded by the way this isn't your typical tape it's got kind of a coating on it so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go buy some see-through tape two-sided and try again and see what it turns out but out of the three options that we had, this is the only one that's even close. Um, and I'm not sure it's worth the effort, to be honest. I mean, I paid a buck fifty uh, plus tax, seven eight cents, so buck sixty. Um, then I had to buy tape and attach it and make it try to make it look good. When, and remember, when I started this, I said I don't want to cheap out. I don't want to. I don't want to lose dollars tripping over a few pennies. So I'm thinking, if it takes nine hundred dollars extra over a hundred machines to make it look professional, maybe that's what I need to do. But I'm going to give it one more shot. I'm going to use a see-through two-sided tape, and we're going to do uh, the other peanut M&M, and then we'll see what happens. So the sticker debate continues, uh, but right here and right now, this one looks promising. Uh, I just am not sure that I want to spend that much time doing it. It might be easier and quicker just to pay the three bucks, and that's probably what they're counting on. But we'll see. We'll see you next week or the next time in the next video.